Hello and welcome to another video of the MES Tool Release Highlights for Fall 2021. My name is Jan from MES. Today we are going to look into MES model and refactor more and I have Alex here with me from the more team. Hello Alex. Hello Jan. So the latest release is the 213 which already is quite a high number as you can see um, but that's because we have bi-weekly releases over the recent months. So a lot has happened since our last video and today's features is a sum of the highlights of the latest releases since our last videos. We're going to look into a new action, the rename signal and ports forward. We are going to look into improvements for updating more and how to import preferences. And we are going to look into Morse API. And Alex is going to show us more details now. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm sharing my screen. I hope you can see something now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm just heading in uh, to the to the new feature. We have a lot of improvements here, but let me start with a new feature because it's visually the most pleasing thing here. So imagine you have a signal flow here and you want to you want to now rename your signal. And what you can do, you can do it here by hand and just type in your signal. But what you have to do, you have to go into the subsystems here and change the signal all the way down. And that can be quite annoying if you have a long signal flow here. And yeah, this is quite annoying. And now we have a feature that you can do this uh, just with a more action. Um, rename signal and ports forward here. And if you hit this action, you can just select the signal and hit this action and you get a small window here where you can enter your new signal name. Um, I just call it my new signal. And you have some options here. For example, you can start at the selection of your signal or start at the source. In this case here, this is both the same because um, I'm starting at the source already with my selection. And what you also can do is you can say uh, you should rename go to from text on the way as well. Or you should apply your preferences you are set in your config file or hook, for example, uh, on the way. So just let me hit OK here and see what happens. So now the signal is renamed. You can see here it's renamed down here into this uh, subsystem as well. And yeah, just to the destination. So you don't have to do this all the way by your uh, by yourself. Um, it doesn't rename the go to from text because I didn't make the selections there. So I can show you this as well. Um, you just I just hit undo and just do it again here. For example, um, rename signal and ports and just hit the rename. Go to from text my sig two. And as you can see now, also the go to from text are set which is really nice as well if you are using a lot of go-to-from blocks, uh, and then you can do this as well on mm -hmm. your way and don't have to do it by hand. Um, can you maybe quickly um, uh, clarify, so where does the naming start and where does it end? So the naming, as I said, uh, you normally start at the source or at the selection. So what you can do, just let me undo it. For example, here, um, I just did the selection here. And so it started from here downwards into your model all the way forward. Or you can also move down here and say, okay, I want to start my renaming here. And then you just select this signal and say rename signal and ports and you start at selection here. And then it will start the renaming here from your selections uh, forward in your model. So let me show you a new signal three. And now it's renamed here. So you have starting here, the next input on the signal is renamed. And yeah, it started here and not in the front. Mm -hmm. So this uh, stayed the same. But if you are down in your model and you don't know where your model is starting, you could also use uh, select this signal here, use rename signal and ports and use uh, the source of the signal. Mm -hmm. And my signal four. And if I hit the button here, it will now start at the source of the signal here again. And that's a very convenient feature as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as we already said in the update newsletter that we also made it easier to update our tool. One of the ways we have is you can now import your configuration files from an old uh, version of more. And just let me show you in this version here, I'm using uh, the latest one and this has no configuration at all. So I'm just want to say, okay, let's import um, 
an old preferences here. So you just go to preferences and say import previous preferences. And it says it found config files from the version 2.11. And you can just select what files you want to import. We just select everything here, hit OK. It will give you a quick uh, uh, thing here where it says it was successful. And after this, you have imported uh, the config files from your old version. In my case, I have set up a hook function that uh, colors my imports, etc., and, and set the um, signal uh, port forwarding to on. And so we can use it. I can just show it here in this action again because this also applies the pop references to the blocks and lines on the way. And you can just say, okay, let's new name. Just hit something here, and hit okay. And now, as you can see here, the name is uh, colored and I'm using signal propagation on the line on the way because I have uh, set this in my configuration file from the 2.11 and now in the latest version because I've imported it. This is quite nice as well. So you don't have to um, yeah, um, import your configuration files from older versions by hand. You can just use uh, the menu entry here. And, but if you don't want to have these uh, configuration files, you can also reset them to the default. So you can here preferences and reset preferences to default. And you can just reset all your preferences. Maybe you made a mistake by configuration, by configuring the files yourself. And this way you can just reset them, mm -hmm. which is quite nice and, as well. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. And what you also just showed is that with the right preferences for the renaming action, you can also uh, update the um, style, the modeling style. So if you want to have a color for a certain import uh, color scheme, you can apply that as well automatically. Indeed, yeah. And this is very helpful if you want to unify the style in your model. And for example, one of your programmers is doing colored imports and someone doesn't uh, didn't do it and this way you can hand out configuration files uh, for everyone and then apply these uh, changes to your model for example mm -hmm. i find this uh, especially helpful for the go to from example that you showed uh, so you can always find a unique color for your go to from yeah for example that so, and the last part I want to show you is we have added new AP functions uh, for our tool. Um, let's, let me show you a quick um, in the command window here. Um, for example, we have, you can see every uh, AP function we have so far in the MAS, more AP, and then tabulator. These are the three. Um, we are working on more, but if you guys have some uh, requests regarding AP functionality, feel free to contact us. What should be the next one we should automate? And for example, this year you can use arrange pot blocks, uh, and it's really easy. You just hit the API, and in this example, it would use just the handle, get current block handle here. And if I hit this button, it will arrange the selected block here. And you can use this in your own scripts uh, to arrange, for example, these blocks here. If you want to know how the um, Interfaces of these functions, you can use the help uh, function of MATLAB, for example, and there's more AP. Then uh, just use, for example, break subsystem here, and you will get a help text where it's written how is the interface and what it uh, needs to work. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you very much. That was a very nice overview, and we are looking forward also to this release and all the up upcoming releases. And of course, for all more users, the update um, can be downloaded via our website contact or from the tool update newsletter. And for those of you who do not know more yet, um, I can tell you, you missed something, but uh, don't worry. We have a lot of video and content on our website to figure out what more does for you. And you're most welcome to evaluate tool as well. Please also just contact us for that. And I would like to say thank you, Alex, for joining me today. Thank you, Jan. And goodbye. Bye.